What's up guys, um, on the way home. Uh, there's another tutorial on this on YouTube by, um, his name is Adam Cantor. And I actually learned it from him. But um, I kind of I kind of want to help clarify and try to make it uh, a little bit more simpler. Um, and I noticed that he was playing in a drop D, um, which I, I've seen John Mayer play it. Um, he doesn't necessarily play it in drop D. It sounds great, but um, I, I'm gonna do my best to try to make it simpler because I know um, when I was learning the. Oh, I was having a lot of trouble. So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna help clarify, kind of like a supplement to his tutorial. So if you're listening, Adam, uh, great job. And I'm not trying to steal your views. <laughs> Maybe I am, but eh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I really like this song. Um, let's just start. So with the, the opening lick, which is really nice. Uh, you gotta get that rhythm especially if you're right now like beginning to intermediate uh kind of have to feel that rhythm it's like like feel that say it in your mouth like that's what i do like um so he starts off with an open uh, fourth string, which is the D string. Then he puts his index finger right there on the third string, I mean, yeah, on the third string, the G string, and on the second fret, and he hammers on to the fourth fret. He pulls off it, and he also pulls off the, um, in one huge motion like this. He hammers on to the fourth, pulls off the fourth, and then pulls off the second fret with his index finger. All in one, one fluid motion. So from the D string, just start off like that. Just do that for a while. Um, a lot of you advanced players, you guys will get this, but I'm focusing more on beginning and intermediate, so bear that in mind. After that. Play the D string, open. Hammer on to the fourth fret. Right after that opening lick. Keep doing it, keep doing it, okay, until you get it. I just added a note. Hold on, hold on. I'm with you guys, don't worry. Just hum it. And then after that, you add the open G string. So it'll sound like this. Do it slowly. Keep doing it. Step by step, guys. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, I just added a note, sorry. After that, your index, um, so you hammer on to the fourth fret, right, with your with your ring finger, and then you play the open G. Keep that ring finger there; you're gonna need it. And then hit that the fourth string, the D string, with your ring finger on the fourth fret. And then also put your index finger on the second fret of that string. Keep it there. Uh, you're gonna need it too. So again, put your next finger. Uh, hold on. My mommy. <laughs> Sorry again. Sorry. Hit 
hit hit it, pull off on the fourth fret, pull off from the fourth fret, and then pull off the second fret with so. Actually, what I do, I just hit. Um, I do this naturally. I just, you know, hit the the hit the D string, and then I put my index finger on the second fret. But I, I do it sort of hard so you can hear the note, and then I pull off from it. So, and I hope you guys know what I mean when I say pull off. You kind of, you kind of, you sort of bend it a little bit, tiny bit. And then you like let go, you kind of like pull it, like you're plucking it it's in a weird way. Hold on. So do it step by step. Slowly. Again. Build the speed from there. Build build up speed. And then this part is um, slightly different from what Adam did. I simply just do this. I I do this. He goes to the fifth fret over here. Instead of the open fourth, you'll see right now. And after that, you just simply go with the fifth string, the A string, like this. So hammer on, second fret, and then fourth fret in one fluid motion. And then you just hit the, the D string. And then you, you start strumming a, a D chord, but without the middle finger. You don't really hear that that note. The what is it? And it's an F sharp note right here, with the middle finger. Um, so let's do it again. And then the rhythm might be kind of weird at first to you guys, but um, it was to me for sure. But uh, just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. Trust me, you'll get it. without the middle finger. And he starts, this summer's over. I can't sing, so. Um, basically what he does is, it's a G, but like a John Mayer G. Instead of G like this, um, he puts his thumb over the... And to a lot of traditional players, this is like an abomination, using your thumb. But John Mayer uses it, so does Hendrix, so does a bunch of other people. So if you're not used to it, it might feel kind of weird at first, but just do it. Um, it makes some chords playing easier too. Anyways, um, this summer's all... So from the D, right? That D without the middle finger. Uh, your ring finger does not move in this little section, okay? So your, your ring finger stays where it is. So, the summers, and then take off your index finger and just simply slap your thumb over the, the top string on the third fret, and the front part of your thumb, will, it's not pressing on the A string, it's slightly touching it, it's not pressing down on it. It's slightly touching it so that it mutes, and, and that, that's fine, that's what, we, that's what we want. So, on the D, Summer's over and back to D without the middle finger and just repeat it. This summer's over, this town is closing, they're waving people out of the 
and this is uh, when you add like an A, A sus four. I think it, I think it's what it's called, but just call it A. Remember, and if you notice, your ring finger is not moving anywhere. For that A, you want to put your index finger on the D string on the second fret, and your middle finger on the G string on that second fret too, and your ring finger stays where it is, and then to the D. Oh, oh. Ocean, ocean, and he does it again. So again, the summer's over. This town is closing. They're waving people out of the ocean. And what I've seen John Mayer do, instead of using those two fingers, he just grabs them both with uh, with one finger, and uh, it makes it easier. You could, you guys can explore, you know. So again, this summer's over, this town is closing, they're waving people out of the ocean. And then again, out of the ocean, we had, we, yeah, we had the feeling like we were floating, we never noticed where time was going. Then he does it. Do you remember when we first got here? The days were longer, the nights were higher. Now it's now it's September. The engine started. You're empty-handed and heavy-hearted. And he changes up the you know the rhythm of the strum. Remember on the way, on the, oh, and this one, just remember on the way home. He plays it, you know, he plays that G, right? But he adds, it's like that D without the middle finger and the G combined. So, so make that G and then add the, you know, where you play D, the next finger on the, on the, you know, the G string on the second fret. It's like the G and that D combined. So, from that verse, where was he? The engine start and empty handed. And you change that rhythm of the strum, you get that feel. So just remember on the way home. And actually, you're playing that D, right? All you gotta do is just add the your thumb. On the way home. And then he does it. Ooh, that's a B minor. play like that straight up B minor and you can take off your pinky but you don't ever have to feel alone and then it's just straight up G you don't ever have to feel alone so it's that G and D combined first just remember on the way home Ooh, it's B minor that you don't ever have to feel alone It's that, and it's kind of the same thing, but just in a different rhythm. It takes a little while, but you'll be fine. Another good time coming down the line. So it's that G D G D G D A D. It takes a little while, but you'll be fine. Another good time coming down the line. Basically, it's the same thing in that one little bridge part. Um, You'll go back to love that's waiting. I'll unpack in a. It's the G D G D G D A D. And, and again, so how's that life you swear you're hating? Grass is green and that makes two great song. So just remember on the way home. Ooh, B 
minor. That you don't ever have to feel alone, G. Short but it's sure it's strong if you got together. That little bridge. Um it's just the uh, different combinations. I'm not sure. It's all it's either, you know, the D without the middle finger. Play it with um play play uh this string right here, right here, with your middle finger on this little bridge part. And then it's different combinations of D and then you add your ring finger on the on the D string on the fourth fret. And then the last one is take that off and put your index finger on the D string on the second fret. And back to D. It's different combinations of those three different D chords. They're all they're all a form of D. How would you do it? Let me see. Life is life is short, but it's sure is strong. You get together, but nobody at all. Oh, there we go. It's this one with the with the ring finger. Life is short, but it's sure is strong. So, and then take it off. Sure is strong. You get together, but nobody at all. So. Life is short, but it's sure is strong. You get together, you get forever, but nobody at all. And then, not all the time though. So life is short, but it's sure is strong. We get together, but nobody at all. D. And just keep playing that D. And again, again that part. La 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 la. Just keep playing the D. Just try out different combinations of those. But I think it's that one for sure. The short with the short stone. You get together, but nobody at all. And then all the way back to the chorus. It's never on the way home. La 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 G D la 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 A 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 D. Great song, uh, great lyrics too. Uh, just um, perfect. If you're you know, you know, getting older. But I already feel that, you know, it's a great song. John Mayer is a great artist, great songwriter. And I hope you guys learned the song. Um, hope it was a great supplement to what Adam, uh, what, I, what Adam did in his tutorial. Except, um, you know, like I said, he was playing it in drop D, which is cool. Sounds tight. Um, but I, I've seen John Mayer and he doesn't play it in drop D. He might be, but I don't think so. I've seen his fingers. He's been going like this. So, um, and anyway, thank you, and I'll catch you.